Hello and welcome to your introduction to the module project you're going to do this week. I'm going to show you some good ideas that you can use either by yourself, with a partner, or on a team. This is called a PowerPoint show and I think by now most of you should know how to make a very basic PowerPoint. So I'm just going to go through some of these ideas. And my country that I chose is Bangladesh. So you're going to put the title on and your name. Now this is going to be a very different type of project because your instructor will not be telling you too much of what you have to do. You have to make that decision. So we are going to show you and give you some resources and some examples and then on your own or again with a partner or on a team. You can choose however you want to work on this project and you only have a week to do it. So you make that decision as soon as you can and then the where you choose a country that's not your own. How? You choose your method of presentation so it does not have to be a PowerPoint. It could be or you can do research and give your report like you would a book report. You can do a poster board and get pictures and, and do a talk from pictures. You can use the overhead projector or the document camera and have an article or some pictures and share what you found out about a different country on the cultural etiquette, the taboos. Taboos are things that you shouldn't do when you're in another country. Or you can even design a game to give us the information that you found on a different country, such as Jeopardy. When you choose when and where you're going to meet with your partner or your team. And you also are going to choose how you want to be graded. You choose your own rubric. So your instructor will have directions on how to work with you in the class and come up with maybe a three or four point uh, evaluation sheet of what you want to be graded on when you give your presentation. Now this is one example and this came from one of the websites that I'll show you at the end of this show. This is actually a bit too much information because you as the student and us as the teacher know that students tend to read and so we don't want you to read. The whole idea is to learn the information, have just maybe a few words on the slides or on your poster board or index cards and do most of the talking from memory. That means that you have really learned the information. So you can see some ideas here about the greetings, how people in Bangladesh have different cultural customs than we do here in the States and how they communicate. Now another way you can do it, you can put some links in your PowerPoint show if you're going to do PowerPoint and you can go to that website. So I will click on this active link and this is one of the excellent websites, The Cultural Crossing. And so we don't want you to read it, but you can just show people. You can look at the board and see what you're going to be talking about. This one is on personal space and touching. But we are hoping that you will have read it and remember it. And you can look at the audience while you're talking and sharing that information. And then on this here, you can actually give us a report on your personal experience. You can do that in person, or if you see this little uh, speaker here, I'm going to click on it. Now, I'm recording this video, so I don't think you're going to hear it. So the personal experience is we do not look at anyone for long periods of time. This is a sign of respect. And these are the websites that you can get. So you can use a little from each of them. I don't recommend that because that's going to be a lot of work. So pick one that you're comfortable with. And just take the just a few words from each of the areas on the diversity in different countries, the cultural etiquette. 
Okay, you will have a uh, handout direction sheet so you'll know more of what you're doing for your project, but you will present at the end of the week and it only has to be about a one minute, one to two minute presentation so we can learn about the diversity throughout the world. Thank you so much.